Welcome back to our G3 series with one of our favorite guests, Brian Cromit from 702 Communications. He's going to be talking today about the advancement, apparently, in, in phone cameras. Yeah, this is yeah a, right. This is a great looking iPhone. It's a little man. bulkier in my pocket now <laughs> than it used to be. But well, I love this topic because, I mean, yeah. honestly, I think that these people now, they're not really selling phones, they're selling cameras, it seems like. Well, that's the thing, right? I mean, because the phone's been a phone for a long time now, so, so what do you do? You have to figure out a way to make something more convenient or better or an, another reason for people to upgrade and another reason for people to want to carry that new device. And, and so the camera, um, I've just upgraded to the iPhone 11. I didn't go with the Pro, but I did go the 11 um, and you've seen things about this about how it's got the the multiple uh, lenses this one's just got the two uh, but the pro does have the three lenses um, and what that gives you is a much wider range of uh, photo taking ability so what used to take me you know multiple lenses with my good old ah. SLR um, now you can do a lot of that just in the phone it and is it video and picture, or just picture that I'm doing that? Um, really, uh, I just tested a bunch of the, the pictures, you know, to really compare the, the SLR to the iPhone 11. Um, but we went out yesterday and we shot a bunch of side-by-sides to show you the difference between, like, an older iPhone 7, um, the 11, and then, and then the camera. Okay, so. um, we just found out that our graphic uh, system died, so do you want to reenact oh. those pictures? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what was the distinction? Yeah, so what you really see is, is, is on an older, uh, like, an, like an iPhone 7, um, it, it, it's going to be kind of a, a point and shoot. Um, you're not going to get any of the nice uh, bokeh uh, effect from you know, something being focused near and it blurred out far. Yeah. Um, the 10 does a better job of that. The 11 does a great job of that. And the 11 really rivals what you can do with, with an SLR, you know, in a portrait setting. I was going to ask, because a buddy of mine just got an 11. We took a pic, and it was unbelievable how yeah. nice it was, yep. clear, the color, everything. Yeah. So is the upgrade worth it for an iPhone 11, do you think? Well, it is, you know, because like I say, I mean, if you do a lot of portraits, this will give you that portrait feel, you know, without having to know how to work an SLR. But the other really nice thing is um, we shot some side-by-sides yesterday just to show the, the wide angle, because that's another uh, feature that they're really touting in the 11 is the wide angle. Um, so we took a shot with the 11. Um, I put on my 18 millimeter lens here, and I did the wide angle uh, with the 11, and the 11 had the best wide angle really? of the three. So I would have needed to find a, a, a much wider than the 18 for my SLR to get the same picture I got with my iPhone 11. That's incredible. And then the, the iPhone that you have, and then there's one that's got a, a whole nother wide lens? It does. It, it does. It, it gives you more of a fisheye. But then the, 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 other, the other one we tested, so we tested the portrait mode. We tested kind of the wide angle thing. And oh, they're showing it behind us a little bit here. Here we go. Um, there you go. So you can see the, the 7 versus the 10 versus the SLR versus the 11. And the, and the 11 clearly in the, in the lower left there uh, clearly has the widest yeah. angle of, of the four of them. That so is fantastic. That's pretty cool. And then if, I don't know if we can get the <clears throat> portraits up or not. Um, but so there's the difference in the portraits. So the iPhone 7, you can you know, see me, but you can see the background pretty clearly. In the 10, you're seeing, you kind of get that bokeh effect. But in the 11... It really yeah. rivals, you know, what you can do with the SLR. And just the lighting on you too, and I mean, just such a, a yeah. nice distinction. Yeah, so. it really pops the light and, and really, really does all that processing for you in the phone. So we didn't have to tweak any settings on that. That just worked. So you've got an upcoming video you're going to be doing on YouTube. Where can people find it? Yeah, um, go to 702 or go to YouTube. Look for 702, and we do a whole thing about photography, and that'll be coming up soon. Is that going to be your headshot for your, your acting gigs coming up? Or? Maybe. <laughs> do, you, do you like that one? I did. Brian Cromit, <laughs> 72 Communications. Check him out on YouTube and stick around. we got more coming up right after this.